I'm Ejaram Debhalera. I'm studying in Poddha International School. Today, we are going to see question and answers of an English lesson. The name of the lesson is Time and the Far Away Mountains. But before watching this video in detail, don't forget to subscribe my channel. So let's start. Time and the Far Away Mountains. New words. Mishmi Hills. Arunachal Pradesh. Wondrous. Beskin. Faint. Porter, expedition, disguised, scolded, wrote, coordinator, determination, technique, anxious, reeling, hold, shelter, training, beloved, mentor. Word galaxy. First, Van Ross, meaning inspiring feel, inspiring a feeling of wonder or delight. Second. Distant, meaning far away. Third, basking, meaning enjoying the warmth and light, typically from the sun. Fourth, faint, hear, hard to hear. Fifth, porter, meaning a person whose job is to carry luggage and other loads. Sixth, expedition, meaning an organized journey with a particular purpose especially to find out about a place that is not well known. Seventh, disguised, meaning giving oneself a different appearance to change one's true identity. Eighth, scolded, meaning spoke to someone angrily for doing something wrong. Ninth, wrote, meaning a way that you will follow to get from one place to another. Tenth, coordinator, here, Someone who plans mountain trips. 11th, determination, meaning firmness of purpose. 12th, technique, meaning skill or ability of carrying out tasks in, in a particular field. 13th, mentor, meaning an experienced person who advises a less experienced person. 14th, anxious, meaning feeling worried or nervous. 15th, supplies, meaning things such as food, medicines, fuel that are needed by people. 16th, reeling, meaning moving and steadily. 17th, hold, meaning made a long, loud cry. 18th, summit, meaning the highest point of the mountain. 19th, beloved meaning loved very much by somebody. Question 3. Extra meanings. Dictionary activity. First, whisper, meaning speak very softly. Second, realize, meaning become fully aware of something as a fact or to grasp or understand clearly. Third, rules, meaning control over a people or country or an official statement that tells you what must or must not do in a particular situation or when playing a game. Fourth, agreed, meaning have the same opinion as somebody, something. Fifth, leader, a person who is, who is a manager or in charge of something or something that leads. Sixth, strength, meaning the capacity of an object or the quality of being physically strong or the amount of this quality that you have. Seventh, training, meaning teach a person to do something which is difficult or which needs to practice or the act, process or method of one that trains. Eighth, camp, meaning a place where soldier refuses or a place where people stay for a short time in tents or huts. Ninth, shelter, meaning a place giving protection from bad weather or dangerous. Tenth, tent, meaning a profitable fabric shelter supported by poles or small structure made of cloth that is held up by poles and ropes. You use a tent to sleep in when you are camping. Question 4. Make sentences. 
first mountains. Sentence, I had climbed mountain last year. Second, forest. Sentence, there are many wild animals in the forest. Third, family. Sentence, I love my family. Fourth, porter. Sentence, my father is a porter. Fifth, disguised. Sentence, I disguised as a policeman. Sixth, mentor. Sentence, my mom, my mother is my mentor. Seventh, dream. Sentence, my dream is to be a doctor. Eighth, medicines. Sentence, I don't like medicines. Ninth, smile. Sentence, I like to smile always. Tenth, danced. Dancing is my favorite hobby. Question 5. Answer the following questions. Question 1. What did Tyne and Sony love to do? The answer is, Tyne and her younger sister Sony loved eating apples, oranges and berries from the forest. They used to spend long days lying under the sun. Question 2. Why did Tyne apply to be a porter? What problem did she face in becoming a porter? The answer is, Tyne applied to be a porter so that she could be close to the mountains. But women were not allowed to be the porters. Question 3. Who was Dr. Romeo Mette? The answer is, Dr. Romeo Mette was the leader of an expedition. He became Tyne's mentor and trained her. Fourth, when did climbing Mount Everest become Tyne's dream? The answer is, climbing Mount Everest became Tyne's dream when she saw The Race for Everest, a film about the first climb of Mount Everest. Fill in the blanks with the correct word, phrase from the previous slide. First, Arunima is my dad's cousin. The answer is distant. Second, the Americans love dash in the sun during the winters. Asking. Third, after the earthquake, Jane's world had turned dash upside down. Fourth, while walking through the forest, the campers heard a dash, a faint whisper. Fifth, the dash on the railway station carried our luggage. Porter. Sixth, the king dash himself as a poor man to catch the corrupt ministers. Disguised. Seventh, Samir was dash with the ability to write with both his hands. Naturally gifted. Eighth, my teacher taught me the dash to shoot arrows. Technique. Ninth, my father has always been my dash. Mentor. Tenth, the winds dash and sent shivering chills through the night. Hold. Arrange the following events in a sequence. Answer is, first, Tyne heard a wondrous call from the distant mountains. Second, Tyne's family moved to closest big town, rowing. Third, disguised as a boy, Tyne joined as a porter for an army expedition. Fourth, Tyne met Dr. Romeo Mattei. Fifth, climbing Mount Everest became Tyne's dream. Sixth, Tyne left for Nepal. Seventh, wind blew Tyne's tent and supplies away. Eighth, Tyne set her foot on the summit of the Mount Everest on 9th May 2011. Okay friends, so these were the question and answers of the lesson Time and the Faraway Mountains. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share with your friends and if you have any suggestions for me, please write in comment section. Bye, have a good day. Thanks for watching this video.